Howdy! I think I'm going to try to do... Make sure I'm on. I think I'm going to try to do a video without screwing it up. I apologize for my last video, not for the content, but because it was all over the place, my voice and... But that was because I have this um, thing where I can make my voice go up, down, all over the place and uh, my computer didn't like it too much. And so when you looked at my mouth, it wasn't synchronized, which I'm looking for now, with what I was saying. So I apologize for that. But anyway, I had a lot of fun. Speaking of that video, what I had put on my face was the brightest red lipstick I had from NYX. And I just smeared it on my face. That was it. With a primer underneath it, thank God. Because I started off just, I was going to do a normal commercial. And then a commercial. A normal video. I've never done a commercial. Why did I say that? I was going to do a normal video, and then I just said, Ah, oh, what the hell? I'm going to have some fun here. So I became, you know, whatever it was I was. And, but after I did it, I said, Oh my Lord, how am I going to get that stuff off of his face? You know, like, I had never put lipstick all over. Well, maybe when I was a kid or during Halloween, and you get an old face like this, and you put lipstick all over it, and I said, Oh my God, what if I break out in giant zits? I've never done that in my life. It's going to happen to me now. But, guess what I what happened? I used golf and I cleaned myself. Ooh, that's why I said commercial, because I look like I'm doing a commercial. So I used this elf and I cleaned myself. Two swipes of the elf and all that black NYX pencil was off my eyeballs and the red NYX lipstick was off my cheeks and the black gobbledygook and it all came off with two of these little cheapy elf things. I swear to God. So, and the other good thing is, is that I had on my, I'm just talking products today. I had on my Maybelline, Maybelline Age Rewind Primer. I just put a bit on. And I think that if I hadn't put that primer on, I'm putting it back because I want to talk about that. If I hadn't put that primer on, I would have been in one hell of a mess. So, what's my video going to be about today? You wonder. I always wonder what my video is going to be about. And I just sort of wing it. But today I said, no, Susie, you're not going to wing it. You're actually going to talk about some stuff. So I'm going to talk about some stuff. Julie, you'll be happy to know that I finally got my um, Christian Dior. Uh, eye makeup. <laughs> oh yes. Now, excuse me. It came yesterday in the mail. I'm holding it upside down. Oh, you can see. But if anybody wants to come visit me, you feel feel free. And it came all the way from Thailand. And here it is. Here is my Christian Dior. Now, a Christian Dior, one of these things at Sephora, costs $62. $62, and this is one of the latest colors. I had ordered the uh, porcelain pink, but then I changed my mind because it was too glittery. And I ordered this one here, and um, the only thing, I paid um, 10 or $11. And I think I paid... I think I might have paid three or four dollars for the shipping because he sent it to me registered airmail. I still waited about three weeks, but I wanted to make sure I got it because I wouldn't have got this again. So there you go. There's my Christian Dior. I don't have the compact, but who cares? And you just open it up like this. See? I'll have it open in a minute. Okay, see it just comes in plastic, and there it is. In, it's, got, it's got a beautiful, two beautiful pinks, and a cream in the middle, and two browns. And that's what I have on my eyes today. I'm wearing that. So I'm wearing Christine Dior eyeballs with the rest of my makeup drugstore, except for... Okay, so I've got the Christine Dior, and... La -da -da -da. Then on my 
on my crease. I've got my Laura Mercier palette and I used what did I use? These two here. Whoops. Anyways, I used two of them in here. Two of these thingy jiggies. Two colors. The last the last two on the first one, two, three, third from the top. That one and the next one next to it. So these that and that. Okay? That's what I use on my crease. And then for my for my V, I used one of this. The darkest chocolate brown. And another thing I want to show you that I bought, and I didn't get this for a bargoonie because I wanted to buy a good pencil brush. Now, my pencil brush, it's made by BD Bedulium Tools. Bedulium Tools. And I paid about $12 for this little baby with no shipping. But I have been trying everywhere to get a good pencil brush, and I have pencil brushes, but this one is amazing. It's got a bamboo handle, and it's BD Bellium Tools. And uh, I got that. I got that on eBay. So, I also got, I finally found, when I went to Walmart, oh, on my birthday I got a $50 gift certificate from my younger son. And he asked me what I wanted. And I said, a gift certificate from Walmart. So Holly and I went out on Sunday. And uh, we went Walmarting. And there was, I wanted, to, I was looking for the Garnier Blur. Didn't have it. I was looking for an eyebrow kit with a stencil, didn't have it, or I was looking for an eyebrow kit with a pencil, and a, I mean a brush and a powder, didn't have it, anyway, so, but one thing I did find was my, my, my pearls, and that's Physician's Formula, hey, I'm getting better at this, eh, my Physician's Formula. And because I really don't have any highlighter, what I've been using as a highlighter is my uh, Happy Booster, my Iridescent. So now I've got my Happy Boop. Bo 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 I've got my Happy Booster in Iridescent, and I've got my Physician's Formula Little Pearls. The only thing is, is they were white, and as I use it, they go sort of a bronzy color. So I'm going to soon look like a bronze statue. Ah, oh, another thing I got. I got a really cute little, I can't see the color on this, but I've been looking everywhere for an iris eyeshadow. I had ordered an iris eyeshadow. It got as far as my purse, came I don't, from where I don't know, on eBay. I never made it into my makeup caboodle. And making sure that Utter's not around making fun of my caboodle. Anyway, and I finally found an iris, little iris palette. And I had that on yesterday and I had a really good time. I love I love I, 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 I love eye palettes. I guess I'm like Carolyn. I just love eye palettes. I mean, that's my favorite makeup is just doing something with the eyeballs. So I got that. And then something I got at Walmart, which I've never used in my life before. I have always been a cover girl person. Either cover girl or Shiseido when it came to foundation. I've tried a lot of them. I always went back to CoverGirl. I've got CoverGirl, like the three in one. I've got the CoverGirl whipped. I had, I don't, I think maybe I have three drops of Shiseido left. I uh, can't afford that anymore. Um, this is when I was working, I used to use Shiseido. Um, but I've always, ever since I started wearing makeup, I used, to, I remember CoverGirl used to smell like suntan lotion. It smelled like Noxema, and I've always loved the smell of the old type of Noxema. It brings me back to when I was a kid going to the beach and everything so I always love that smell they don't put it in anymore but I found Maybelline and it's it's uh, it's makeup with primer in it which I don't really give two hoots about it was primer in it something just drew me to this and it's Maybelline age rewind the lifter now I need all the lifting I can get believe me so together with my Age Rewind Primer and my Age Rewind Foundation, I'm going to be lifted up higher and higher, 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 
higher and higher. So I should be lifted up. Now, I don't know if I look at any, any more lifted than normal, but this foundation is fantastic. Oh, the coverage, it's amazing. It doesn't go on all, I mean, I love CoverGirl, don't get me wrong, but it goes on so beautifully. And with the, with the Age Rewind Primer, just a little dabble do ya. And then you put this stuff on it, and it's like, well, okay, yeah, go out of focus, you silly. See? Yee! I don't, I don't know if I have, I don't think I have big pores. Uh, but if you look at my face, I don't have that much foundation on. Like when I did that other video, I had, I had nothing on, I just had the red lipstick. But this just gave me the right amount of coverage, so... I'm telling you guys, if anybody's having problems looking for a good, a really good silky foundation and you just, you've given up, you've bought all the high-end ones, the low-end ones, the LA Colors or the Elf, whatever, this Maybelline Lift Instant Rewind and uh, I got it in the second ivory color because I'm an ivory kind of girl. Now! For all those wiggy people out there, did I find something? I'll tell you. Where is it? <clears throat> this stuff here, you see, I like to, I don't just, I don't just get a wig and put a wig on and plunk it. I have to fix, will you stop going in and out? Hello, come back, come back to mama. Anyway, don't you hate one that does that? Anyway, when I, when I, when I put a wig on, I have to, to fix it. I like to fix it like I used to, like I did with my own hair. Well, this is my own hair. It's just it's portable. Anyway, and in order to fix hair, as you know, if you want to spike your hair, you have to have setting gel. Now, when you wear wigs, you can't put ordinary hair products in because I think they'll just sizzle and disintegrate on your head. I don't know. I wouldn't want to try. So it was costing me like 12 bucks for a little thing of this. And I've only had gone through two of them because it was so precious. And there's like 57 mil of whatever is in it. And it was costing like $12 plus shipping. It was ridiculous. So I went waltzing around Walmart looking for a product. And I found this. And I was told by many people, and after looking at all the wig things I've seen, not to put alcohol in your wigs. So every bloody product I looked at for normal hair had alcohol and then I found this Dove for Men well I'll tell you something I did this miss mess on my hair yesterday <laughs> and I didn't even do it again today I just left it I just that's yesterday's hair still great messy spiky crazy I love it there's like four times the amount in here and I think I paid six ninety eight six ninety eight if I even paid that much and it's Dove, good old Dove, and it's alcohol free. It's got parabens in it. What that? I don't know what a paraben is, but anyway. But anyway, my wig did not disintegrate, and uh, now I don't have to ship to the international country of the United States of America, which used to be my neighbor, and pay a fortune in shipping to get a little stupid thing of Beauty Mark. So if anybody's spending a fortune on Beauty Mark styling products, I'm not talking about shampoo. I'm talking about a styling gel. Don't waste your money. Get the Dove. It's better. Something else I want to talk to you about. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I have an empty. I have an empty. I have an empty. This, everybody talks about lotions and butters and all the things you put all over your body. Since I started being into, into uh, since, <coughs> since I started dialysis, I never had a problem with dry skin. I just, I've always been sort of a normal skin type of person. But because I can't drink a lot, my skin needs a lot of hydrating. And it was only in the last few years that I started dialysis that I started getting wrinkles on my face. And that's because I'm not getting enough water in my body to hydrate my skin. So, oh, where is it? Ah. Anyway, I also have a huge bottle of that, uh, what is it, Algonquin? No. Uh, Allegon, Allegania, Allegon oil, 
Paragon, you know what I mean, the thing everybody's using. Well, I got a giant bottle, it's, it's huge. And Holly brought it for me, and uh, it's the second bottle she got. So I, I put that stuff all over my bod. What's it, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I left it in the bathroom. Anyway, it's, it's, it's the oil that everybody, not coconut oil, it's the other one. It's got a turquoise top on it, and it's, it looks like olive oil, but it's, it's very expensive. Anyway, but what I put on my upper, upper regions is this body shop butter. This you can only get at the body shop. And I have been using this for years. And the person who started me on this was our little Carol. Remember Holly told you about Angels Incorporated, how there was her and myself and Carol. Well, Carol was the third one of us and she died suddenly. Uh, it's gonna be two years in May. And she was only 49 years old. And uh, she was looking after me. But she ended up, she ended up passing away. And Carol's the one that got me started on this. And as you can see, I've hit bottom. There's only a little bit left, but oh my lord, if you guys want to smell something good, here I go with the glasses again. This stuff is just amazing. And it is, it's called, for years and years, Carol used to crack up because I called it Tsunami. Or Susatia, or I would always get that. So it's called Satsuma Body Butter. And it is made with uh, anyways. It smells. It smells like oranges. It smells like oranges. It's just you can get it in smaller containers than this one. I've I've gone through about probably nine smaller containers, and uh, this one took me not too long, maybe a, a couple of months to go through. And so I always go around smelling like a big orange or a tangerine. But this stuff is amazing. So if anybody's looking for a different scent, um, try Satsuma from the body shop. Okay, speaking of my Claren, speaking of my Claren cream, which I used on my face, because I promised Kelly I was going to tell her a funny story. This is what I use on my face. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. It's Clara. It's my only, no, I've got two products from Sephora, which Holly bought me. It's uh, this and a, a pencil, an ether pencil. So Claren is what I use for moisturizer, and that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So I brought that up because I wanted to tell you a funny story about moisturizers. All of my life, well, all of my life, since I was old enough to start wearing moisturizer, because I was always sort of, I just used soap and water, usually Dove or Ivory or whatever. And then every one, maybe once a week I'd put some, some moisturizer on my face. I always stayed away from the sun because I've never, I've never, I've always been a very, um, I like the moon and I like candlelight and I've never been a person that likes to sit in the sun. Ugh, I hate it. I don't mind the sunlight if it's cool, but if it's hot, you're not going to find me sitting there. Or these people that sunbathe and everything, no. No, no, I, I think people like that, I, I, there's something wrong with them. I don't know, I don't understand, I'd rather be looking at the moon, I'd rather be getting a moonshine than a sunburn, but, but I have been sunburned. So I used to use oil of Olay, right? Right. It was about 1985, I guess, it was about 1985, and I was living with this fella, and he had six kids and I had two kids, so we had eight kids all together. And they were dropping off little samples of oil of Olay at everybody's door. Now at the time I lived in a huge house in uh, Dollar des Ormeaux, which is another, it's outside of where I live, in a split level. So we had eight kitties. And all the kids knew that I liked to use my oil of Olay. So they're all in the kitchen whispering and I didn't know what they were doing. So they all scampered off. I mean, the youngest one at the time, I think, was one of Eddie's daughters. She was maybe eight, nine. They ranged from ages up from, oh God, from uh, like four or five up to their teens. We looked like the Brady Bunch. Anyway, they went around up and down streets on their bicycles and everything else. They came back with a shopping bag full of oil of Olay, little boxes of oil of Olay. I think there was about two or three ounces of product in it. I almost died. They went up to everybody's front door 
into apartment buildings, took all the oils of Olay that they dropped off for all the neighbors, brought them all home to me. I didn't buy oil of Olay. I couldn't, I couldn't go back and knock on everybody's door and say, here's your oil of Olay. I didn't even know where they'd gone to. So I thought it was really sweet of them to do that. But So every time I put oil of Olay on for the next five years, I used to feel guilty. But then, you know, maybe they were dropped off and men would have just thrown in the garbage. I don't know. But it was meant to come to me. So that was my story of oil of Olay. So that's, I didn't buy oil of Olay for five years. Anyway, I guess that's about it. So I just felt compelled to do a video because I haven't done one for a while. And uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am. It's beautiful here. It's sunny. It's about, I don't know, minus seven. Minus seven. Uh, what the hell that is in Fahrenheit? I don't know. It's cool, but it's like spring. Minus seven here is like spring. So I'm going to go around. Now I have to go do some stuff and uh, just gallivant around my apartment. So I hope that you all have a great day. I hope that my little tips on the products helped you all. And uh, I think... I think I've learned how to sing with music. Oh, my iPod. My iPod is coming along wonderfully. I've done at least five or six little videos. The only thing I have to do is learn how to upload it onto the computer. And I don't want to keep uploading a two-minute video. I want to try to sort of put them all together. So if anybody out there has an iPod, an iPod Touch, could you please tell me if I do, can I do a video and then start another video where the last video left off? and continue until I have like a 10 minute video. Could you please tell me that please, if anybody has an iPod, please. Thank you. I taught myself how to do everything. The only thing, my son had to come over and connect me to the Wi-Fi because he knew the password. But everything else, getting my Apple ID and everything else, um, connecting it to my computer, I did the whole thing myself. I'm just amazed, I'm just amazed. So I've got these little videos in my in my iPod. I just don't know how to upload them yet. But I'll learn. I will learn. It won't be more than a week. You will be seeing little vignettes of my life outside of this apartment. Okay? So, have a good day. And we'll see you soon. Make comments below. Don't be afraid to subscribe. We like to have subscribers. It's uh, something to do with our ego. Oh! And I just remember. I don't get paid for doing videos because I live in Quebec. And I just found out that I'm paying like $50 a month to do videos in this crazy place. So I have to call Videotron, which is my cable company, and call them up and give them, you know what, because I'm paying $50 a month to do my videos? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm not getting paid a cent because I live in Quebec. So I just thought I'd tell you that. Okay, but that won't stop me from doing videos. I love you all. See you soon. Bye.